my name is Heather Williford and this is my fifth grade class at Ridge Elementary School and we are continuing our unit on electricity. So we are going to begin today by reviewing a little bit what we've learned so far with electricity and you have your whiteboards. Um, we are, why are we learning about electricity? What's the purpose? Keone? So we can um, know how to stay safe and don't get electrocuted? Absolutely. Safety is a part of it. Anything else? Corbin? For our, like, we want a good job that requires to know about electricity. For a future job, definitely. Yes, here? Knowing how to handle the stuff. Knowing how to handle equipment with electricity, absolutely. Do we use electricity every day? Yes. At yes. school? At yes. home? Yes. Out in the community? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So we are going to be able to uh, tell how it works, what makes it work, and then we're going to also learn an extra part of electricity that we haven't explored yet. Okay. So we're going to start off with a little review. So electricity always is with electrons, the part of the atom that is negatively charged. All right. And it flows through the wire. And that is called electric current. current. Very good. OK. So with your whiteboards and your markers, you may <clears throat> also refer to your study guide. So if you want to take out your study guide, I'm going to call out a definition. And you are going to write the term from your study guide that the definition matches. And do not reveal your board until I say reveal. Keep it hidden until I say reveal. We can all show our boards at once. Okay. Alrighty. So this word this word means the path of an electric current. The path of an electric current. Which term on your study guide? Half of an electric current. Yep, yep, that's the one. And reveal. Circuit, excellent, very good. Okay, erase. All right, next term. These are materials that do not allow electricity to flow. They do not allow electricity to flow. They stop the flow of electrons. Wires will be coated with this on the outside to keep us safe. If you can't find it, maybe you can look on with a, with a friend. Okay, it's the one that we were just looking at yesterday. What? Stops the flow of electricity. Okay, reveal. If you have insulator, you are correct. Insulator. There. All right. What about this type? Does this type of circuit, I'm giving you a clue, this type of circuit does allow electricity to flow. So our lights are on, so this circuit for our room is what kind of circuit? Because the energy is flowing, the electricity is working. What type of circuit is complete? And reveal. Awesome, a closed circuit. So think about closed as complete, so that complete circle, the electrons can flow. All right, one more. Let's see. This type of energy is light energy. It's another word for light energy. It's a synonym for light. Reveal. Right. 
Wonderful, radiant. Great job, guys, great job. Okay, so raise your board. And now we are going to, we're gonna give some examples of conductors and insulators. So you have some sticky notes on your desk. I put them, so everyone take two. Everyone take two, sticky notes, gotcha. All right, now what you're gonna do is you are going to write something that's a conductor on one sticky note, and you're gonna write something that's an insulator on the other sticky note. If you need some ideas, I have a word name. Or if you wanna come up with your own, I'm good with that too. You can put your study guides away if you need some more room on your desk. All right, so you have two sticky notes, one example of a conductor on one, and an example of an insulator on the other, all right? And then we are going to come up and put them on our chart. If you're interested in having some choices, I have choices here, but here's the catch. Remember when we shared our slides, the, the person who went first got it over with, maybe was the first person to talk about that topic. Well, first people to come up whoops, and put their sticky notes on the T-chart, they have more choices. But if you hold back and wait a little bit, that's okay. But if you wrote the same word as they wrote, then you're gonna have to adjust. And you're gonna have to write a different word from the chart. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll, kind of, I'll kind of talk you through it as we go. All right, so here are some choices. There's several conductors on here and several, can y'all see that? Should I walk around with it? Should I hold it? Okay. There's several conductors on here and there's several insulators on here. You only have to pick one of each. So pick one for conductor and put, pick one for insulator. And as you're thinking, what's the root word of conductor? You can call out. Conduct. Conduct, conduct right? It means to like lead or, or make happen. And what's the root word of insulator? Insulate. If you insulate something, you keep it protected. You keep it confined. And when we add an OR to the end, it's, it means something that does that. So an insulator is something that insulates. And a conductor is something that conducts and makes happen. All right, so you should have a conductor on one sticky note and an insulator on the other. There's lots of examples here. Pencil, silver earring, sock, t-shirt, iron. Copper wire, crayon, eraser, tissue. Now, might some be better conductors than others? Yes. Sure. Might some be better insulators than others? Yes. Sure. Okay. All right. Raise your hand if you have your conductor written down. Okay. Awesome. All right. So. Yusra, Yasir, Alina, Tallulah, and, and Addison's hands in there. So y'all come up and put your conductor, your word on under conductor. When, and what do you have? Copper wire, iron, what else? Water and gold necklace. Do we agree with all those? Yeah. Okay, so if you had if you had one of those, adjust. If you had water, you were right, but adjust your answer, maybe find a different one. Okay, or if you had copper wire or gold necklace, all of those are conductors. But can you find a different one? All right, raise your hand again if you're ready for a conductor. Mara, I saw your hand. Omar, Peony, Django. I just, you just went up. Silly. Oh, Ariane. All right, y'all go put your conductors up there. And what do you have? 
Yeah. Humans. One's not from the chart. Okay, I'll agree with that. What'd you have, Arya? Silver. Okay, Mirifer. Okay, yep, Jado. Say again. Steel, yep. Omar? Paper, metal paper clip. Awesome. I agree. I agree. Okay. All right. Let's switch over to insulators. Raise your hand if you have Yoda. I saw your hand. Christopher, Jerlyn, I were telling you. Paris, Brian. Y'all come up and put your insulator on the chart. And what you got? Wood. T-shirt. T-shirt. Pencil. Plastic bottle. Do we agree those are all insulators? Yeah, Things yeah. that would not let electricity flow? I agree. Okay, so if you had one of those, maybe adjust. Adjust. All right. Raise your hand if you haven't been up yet. Raise your hand if you haven't been up yet. Kenneth, if you have an, an insulate. Steven, Corbin. Raise your hand if you haven't been up yet. What you got, Kenneth? A book? <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. 100%. Excellent, guys. Way to go. All right. So, you feel like we understand a conductor versus an insulator pretty well? Yes. Awesome. Definitely terms that we need to know. Okay. So, we are going to go on to our stations now all right and let me just tell you logistically all right we're gonna have an explore before explain so we haven't really dove into static electricity yet we're gonna do some of these activities to explore it before we really officially learn everything about it um, so our stations are gonna be station one is uh, where you'll you will have your you'll go to Schoology, right? So um, we are gonna set station one up in the, at the center desks, okay? So if you're at your computer, you are gonna be like sitting where these students sit right here, kind of out of the way of all the, the other movement, all right? And we ran over the directions already, so we should be good with that. Station two is over here at the table, our levitation station where you are gonna be transferring, what are they called? Static energy. It is static electricity, but what's, what's being transferred from the atom? Electrons, very good. You're gonna be transferring electrons, okay? And then you're gonna be picking up, seeing what different items can be picked up with the static electricity. And this is one where you have your, your sheet Make your predictions first before you test. And then if your prediction was wrong, is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Scientists get things wrong all the time. So don't go back in a race, okay? A prediction just shows you were thinking, even if you were wrong, that's okay. Sometimes when we're wrong first, we remember it better in the long run. Okay, and then station three is our steam station where you're making the jellyfish, you're gonna decide which materials to use for its tentacles, and then you are going to see um, it, which one responds best to static electricity, okay? I think we need a balloon over there for the static electricity part, so that goes over there. Andrea, would you put that over there? Thank you. All right. Number four is another uh, another technology station where you're on Schoology. So one is exploring uh, a review, games and simulations, and one is looking at static electricity. Okay, so um, this one's the review, and number one's the static electricity. So I'll put number four up here at these desks, okay? And then number five is our separation station where you're going to transfer electrons again, um, onto a plastic spoon after you measure out some salt and pepper on a plate mixed together. And you're going to use the milliliter spoon, measure out some salt, some pepper, and you're going to transfer the electrons from the wool onto the spoon and see if 
one is separated out from static electricity. And that's your other sheet. Okay? So you have two sheets. Station two and station five. You have a recording sheet. Okay, and I'll kind of be floating back and forth to see if you have any questions. Does anybody have any questions now? All right, so here are your groups. So if you're in this, this the blue group, you're just going to follow blue each time. So we're going to be at each station for seven minutes, and I'll tell you when to move. So the blue group starts at station one. The orange group starts at station five. The purplish group starts at station four. Yellow starts at three, and green starts at two. Everybody good on where they're going? Yeah. All right. Oh, and you guys, if you want to use these desks right here, you totally can. That's what, sorry. That's what I was thinking. Maybe put it here. More space. Oh, we need to do the projection first. Oh, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. So measure out, maybe one person measure out salt, one person measure out pe pepper, a different person's insurance for the electrons. Okay, make your predictions. Do you have your sheet, sweetie? Okay, if you're at the middle desk, Kendra, you can get started. Turn on your computer, sweetie. Both are in School G Science for both uh, technology stations. So go to your School G Science, okay? All right, mix together pretty good. All right, yep, somebody transfer the electrons. Oh, good teamwork. good teamwork. Yep, for five seconds. What is your, sh it says on your sheet for how long? You're in the, the back sheet. So you can see, right, is he with you guys? Okay. Or you can sit at your desk. Wait, what do we do when somebody's There's probably more room back there. Like, what if we rub the wool on, like, on, on our head? Okay, Let, let's keep it this way. It's probably best not to touch everybody's head. Okay. What was the only thing it picked up? Pepper. The pepper. So pepper's the You've only been thing that what? Magnets. <laughs> pepper is attracted to what? Electricity. Right. But the salt, did the salt respond to it? No. No. Interesting. Okay, and make sure everybody gets a chance, okay? So so leave this here and then rub the balloon onto the wool for like how long does it say? Five seconds? Yeah. Okay, all right, so what straw is a what? Straw will not stick. Okay. Good, I like how everyone's taking a turn and trying something different. I'm try to rub that on the wool for five seconds and then see if it will attract the pink ribbon. All right, and are you guys in the static elect? Oh, you're on John voltage. Whoa, he's full of electrons there, Django, isn't he? Okay. All right, give me a super scholar stance in three, two, one. Before we move to our next stations, we are going to do our rich pledge and say goodbye. All right? So on the count of three. One, two, three. At Ridge, we are here to learn and grow. We are safe, responsible, and respectful. We are five.